In today's episode of Map Making Basics, I'm going to be showing you how to use the clone command. And I guess the first example we're going to be using is... Wait a second, that wasn't there a minute ago. Thank you to Sticky Piston Hosting for making this series possible. If you're a map maker and want to get your map out to the rest of the world, head to trial.stickypiston.co, scroll down to the bottom of the page and click submit your map. Upload and play thousands of maps at trial.stickypiston.co. Link will be in the description. Once again, thank you Sticky Piston Hosting for making this series possible. Let's get right into the video. So how's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Map Making Basics. As you just saw there, we cloned this little porta potty over here. This is the infamous design from Mr. Mumbo Jumbo. And uh, yeah, this episode's going to be all about using the slash clone command to reset your map and uh, take bits of, you know, take objects and put them into your map. Now, there is something we need to learn with the clone command, something that's very important, uh, something that will make you get the clone command right every time and that is you must be facing south now you can do the clone command wherever you like but um, say for example here if you look in the f3 screen to the left of the screen i'm facing south and uh, what that means is when you're cloning something if we just build our little porta potty back or oh, i mean i can't really claim it as my own can i if we make sure we're facing south we need to go from here but I would recommend giving yourself a bit of leeway. So instead, like with this example over here, the ground would have got cloned as well. So uh, even though you wouldn't have noticed, these blocks were getting cloned from here to there, including the sandstone. So um, what you need to do instead of instead of just going from here and cloning from there to there, make sure you're doing it from the ground. So have a little one block outline and just do your clone command. Now, if you were to do it from a direction that wasn't facing self, for example, you did it this way, and let's say you wanted to get your build into this little uh, area here, this little five by five. Uh, pretty much what would happen is it wouldn't work and the build would go elsewhere So let's let's give that a go and let's see what happens So if we type slash clone just like this and then the coordinates of the first block and hit enter Then prop around uh, around to the other side uh, Same diagonal and go up to the top right until you get to the top of this You don't need to go any higher just to the same block as the top level and do the same uh, to get that I just typed I just pressed T or open the chat pressed up and then we get back to the command do your coordinates again and then press the enter key you can break those and now if we try placing it here which is the same block as this one what you'll see happen is we won't get the output where we want it as you can see it went over that way now that's because directions so always make sure when you're doing a little uh, clone make sure you're doing it in the right direction so let me just break this and I'll give you an example of how to actually make that work. Right, so I've built back the little square and this time what we're going to do is we're going to do it in the same direction. So we want to glow from there to there. Unlike last time when the example at the start of the video where we were going from uh, here to the side, this time we're going from here to the back of it. So make sure you're facing south. Again, that's using the F3 menu and you want to come down to the bottom, but give yourself that extra space and type clone uh, and then the coordinates of the block and then go to the diagonal and build however many blocks up and then just do the next set of coordinates and press enter delete those blocks and then make sure you're using the same block so if you think about it you're going to want the door at the front now you don't need a door there you can put the door here if you want i'll just show you that just break these and you don't need to type the clone command because the data is still there um the blocks only get cloned and saved in the clone once you execute the command. So, yep, remember it's this block here, which means we need to come over here and select this block. And then if we just type in the final coordinate, you'll see, hey, there it is. We get the correct outcome. Now, just to clarify that that is correct, you can place down a block there and a block there in the same corner. Type your command in again. And if nothing happens, well, you know, you got it right. Now, I'm sure you will want to know some examples in a Minecraft map. So here we are in Unver Nothing, my newest uh, public release map. Um, and yeah. So if you've played one of my Minecraft maps before, one of my unfair maps, you'll know that when you die, the map gets reset and every single map has one of these, a direct clone. Now, what's funny is when people play these maps and they make videos, they always see this and they're like, wait, what? This isn't where I was. But don't worry about it. People just get confused because 
not many maps use a full cloning system. So you'll see this is the kind of clone of the map. If I place a block there and just have a look back on the other side, you can see that block's not there. But if we die and reset the map, just by doing that, you'll see if we head over, there you go, the, the block is there. And of course, if we break that block, well, it's just gonna come back because of the clone command. So let's just go and fix that block, get rid of it because we don't really want that in the map. And then I can explain how this works. So if you're still a little bit confused, pretty much uh, not many maps use a full cloning system as I just said. Many maps use a system where they clone each individual part of a map. Now there are other unfair maps that are not made by me that also use this and you'll see their reset systems are huge and have lots of command blocks in them. This system allows you to create everything and have one clone of the map. So uh, there, there will be a few things that need cloning additionally but the main bulk of the map will be done with one command and that's the reset system. So using the same technique as before we are going in the south direction. Now when making a Minecraft map, it's preferably best to go in the south direction because if we just kill ourselves again, what you'll notice is that's the direction that you spawn when you load in a world. If you, if you load in for the first time, you'll probably face south and when you respawn, you'll always face south. So, you know, if you have a map where you spawn that way, but the map's behind you, then I don't know. There's uh, a bit of an issue there. So, when it comes to this, you're probably thinking, well, hang on, which block do I use to clone? Now, as you can see here, I've given myself that gap again. So, what I did in this map is I went along and I went, okay, so this goes along like this. And if you follow the map all the way around, you'll notice that the only places where blocks are risen are where the clone is not. For example, here. This bit is not cloned, I don't think. No, it, that bit is cloned. Okay, so with the exception of this little tiny section here, <laughs> the rest of it is completely flat. And that's just so we can get a nice, easy clone. Uh, you'll, you'll always want this block to be flat, though. And again, that's just clone, grab your coordinates, and then, of course, we've got lots of barriers everywhere, so that makes it easier. Uh, grab the second coordinate, which is not there. The second coordinate is actually back one, I do believe. Uh, but yep, and then grab that coordinate, and then this instead gets cloned onto here. But what I did is just raised it up so we can have a, a nice little platform. And uh, yeah, you'll see if I, if I change that block there, uh, what you'll notice is we'll have blue terrain now. Just, just there. So yeah, that's how the clone command works. Um, make sure you are facing south when doing it. Of course, if you are doing a build and the build goes in the any other direction that's not south, say for example, you've got a build that goes like this and you've got a little corner in it and then the rest of the map's that way, just remember to make sure you're facing south and always go from this corner to there. And then if the build goes up again, Let's say the build goes up like that. Just make sure that this goes as high. So you want to go from here, preferably on the ground. So this block and then all the way up to here and then where you're cloning next. So if you've cloned the ground, make sure you execute and clone on the ground as well. That's going to do it for today's video. If you do need any more help, let me know in the comments and I'll try and help you out there. I hope this video was useful to you. Hope you found it useful. If you want to see more videos from this series, uh, go and check out the playlist. I'll link that at the end of the video. I'm starting to lose my speech now, and it's only been 10 minutes of recording. You wonder how I do live streams. Coming soon to the channel. Nico the Pro vs. The Happy Wheels 1. The Unfair Map Challenge. See the Happy Wheels 1 play Nico the Pro's map on Wednesday the 25th of September. Only if the map is ready, if the map is not ready, it's not guaranteed it will be on a video.